It's 7 o'clock. Welcome to Good Day LA. I'm Steve Edwards. Here's what's making news. It is Wednesday, March the 10th. Uh, what a story. Night Train, the U.S. bobsled uh, sled team, and Steve Holcomb, a man who was legally blind just a little while ago, got the gold medal first time since 1948 for the U.S. He'll be stopping by as well. Ah, Taylor Swift, today was a fairy tale. I bet this past couple of weeks has felt like a fairy tale for you guys. It only took, what, 64 years for America to win the four-man bobsled again in the Olympics. And here is the guy, Steve Holcomb. You've been seeing a lot of him. What a story. Congratulations to you. you. Come on in. You and, uh, and your three call them teammates. What do you call them? Uh, yeah, teammates. Sled mates? Yeah. This is Dorothy. Hi. Hi, Dorothy. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. I'm sorry, you just look at this first. I know, I haven't been able to see, it, uh, see one yet. Nice, oh, to, nice to meet you. I'll, I'll shave your hand. I'll be polite. Oh, there wow. Right. Now I know what you men go through when you look in the wrong yeah. place. She'll, really she'll, she'll, she'll steal it. She'll steal it. Be careful. Be careful. Gorgeous. Yeah. Well, now, Evan Lysacek told us that these are all different, and they fit together to form sort of a puzzle picture. They do. Um, each one was, uh, is, there's a big mural that they, mm -hmm. they, they stamped out each medal. And uh, if you put them all together, all the gold medals, it'll make, we, we reproduce that mural. And it's, well, it's mountains um, and whales? I, 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 and yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, mountains and whales. And I think I have a part of the whale, which is pretty cool. Hey, Steve, oh, uh, yeah. you, you were a great bobsledder. We're going to tell you a personal story in a moment, but life has changed. <laughs> yeah, it's been, uh, it's been uh, overwhelming. It has uh, been. It's been a complete whirlwind. And, uh, have you had a minute? To yourself? Um, yesterday, actually, my, my first day off. Uh -huh. um, I had uh, I just I flew in real early um, and had pretty much the day off. Uh, What'd you do? Been, uh, nothing. I took three naps actually. <laughs> um, just because you could. Yeah, exactly. And I just I just had a great. Whoever thought you woke up from a nap and you were late for another yeah, exactly, nap? Yeah, exactly. Who was that bobsledding? You know, people pay attention to it for a minute uh, and then not at all. But mm -hmm. this is a different ride for you. Yeah. You, um, last year we won the world championships and uh, it was a huge feat, uh, first time in 50 years. But uh, you know, at the same time, it was kind of in the background, and nobody mm -hmm. really saw anything. And we kind of just went on with do our do our thing, and and then this year we win the gold medal, which Those are is your guys. yeah, yeah. there are four guys off, so. on the night train. But yeah, it's uh, yeah. it's been it's been a whirlwind. It's yeah. been fun. Uh, you're back here, and one of the things you're going to do is you're going to see your uh, ophthalmologist, mm -hmm. uh, ophthalmologic surgeon, I guess you would yep. call him. He basically saved your career. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Tell um, us about it. I was going blind. I, I have a degenerative eye disease called keratoconus, um, and basically my eyes just degenerate over time. And after a while, after I was diagnosed in 2000, mm -hmm. and it just slowly over time I started to get worse and worse and worse. And in 2007, I finally reached the point where contact lenses couldn't correct my vision anymore. Mm -hmm. And at that point, I was yeah, I just said, you know, well, what? I have to I have to retire. There's nothing I can do. I can't see anymore, and it's going to be a danger. It's, uh, you know, having four guys, three guys behind me, mm -hmm. and I can't see, I crash and hurt somebody, and that's all on my shoulders, knowing that I had this problem. How frustrating, having known that you could see and then not see the fear of all of that? Uh, you... it's, it's frustrating. I mean, it took me a long time to kind of cut, to cope with that and deal with that, you know, knowing that eventually I'm going to go blind and mm. um, I'm going to have to have a cornea transplant and it'll, it'll, it'll correct it temporarily. But and then you I'll... can't do, you can't bobsled No, them. once yeah. I have that, the cornea transplant, no. you're... And, and I'm done. thinking, my gosh, it's not like you could even forget for a moment that your vision is going away because there it yeah. is. You wake right up in every day. And it, it, so this was experimental day. surgery. You were taking a risk doing this. Yeah, but I pretty much had nothing to lose. Um, I could either not do the surgery and retire with a cornea transplant, or I could mm -hmm. do the surgery and either it works and things are great. Hey, it doesn't it work. And, yeah, it worked well. <laughs> it worked well. Really so, so what? What is the future pr uh, the prognosis of this? Uh, well, so far everything's going well. Um, we just kind of I have my two-year checkup coming up. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, it was two years ago, two three days ago. So wow. I have to ask you about the beginning of the Olympics. You know, they ended on such a high note, especially for the United States. But I'm thinking, were you there in the beginning? Um, yeah, the yeah, time? I was. We were there. We weren't. Uh, we were actually in Vancouver when we heard about it. But mm. um, it was unfortunate. Um, he's, you know, it's a, the sliding family is all. It's pretty close. All the losers, Bob's letters, skeleton. Mm -hmm. uh, we're all pretty close. Um, so it's, it was unfortunate to, to lose one of our, you know, brothers, but, uh, you know, he, he went out there, gave everything he had, and uh, all we could do is do the same. And you know it could happen to you. It you could, know that. Yeah. I mean, that, you sign on for that yeah. deal when you, you know, do. Yeah, I mean, you sign a way, lot of waivers. We're talking about your doctor. He yeah. was there when you won. He was, yes. Yeah, I, we have a shot of this. Is that him? Yeah. That's him, yeah. Oh, and he's a local man, right? He is, yep. He's uh, in Beverly Hills. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. And so, the future for you? Are you done? You hang up the the, the sled? No. Or what? Um, actually, we start training for Sochi here in a couple weeks. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. We, <laughs> we, the cycle starts all over. We got to defend this baby. Back so, again. Then. Yeah. <laughs> now, you know, we we tend, you know, America, we tend to relate to a few sports, mm -hmm. very competitive sports, basketball and football, you know, baseball to some extent. The competition level. Do you have game face? Do you go through that same kind of thing that those athletes do? Um, yeah, I mean it's still the same level. We 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 have uh, I mean we do have a competitive circuit every year. We go on. Uh, it's not like uh, we don't just show up every four years. Yeah. Yeah. And hope, you know, we, like, do, do you train? Do you have to eat a certain way, or do you get to eat whatever you yeah, want? Yeah. Well, I wish we could eat every one, but um, unfortunately, we, well, the good thing is we. we is, you're, we're a, a, a gravity sport, so the heavier you are, the faster you're going to go. <laughs> so so, that, that's, so that's, that's not all bad, though. Yeah, it's Steve Holcomb, wear it proudly you are. Well, thank you. Great to see you. Thank you so much. Good luck with your checkup. Thank you. And great that you can see us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. thank you. All right, uh, coming up, uh, Holly Robinson-Pete is making trouble already upstairs. Oh, she can't